everybody, it's Liv again. Just wanted to bring you a little tutorial on how I color up some of these fantastic wood veneers that I found. I found this one, I can't remember if it was AC Moore or Michaels, it was in a clearance section. Uh, I thought this would be great to uh, play around with. Took one of them and called them up. Now I called them up with these dyes that I have. Uh, powder dyes. They are by Lindy Gang. They are the Magical Collection. Um, this is more of a fall theme one that they had. Um, and then I also used my water pen for this project. I got this also at the craft store. Uh, what I love about these magical ones is you can, in person, that you really can't kind of see it here, it's just absolutely gorgeous shimmer. You can create this as an ornament. I'm actually planning to use this as a centerpiece. I um, haven't decided if it's going to be on a card or probably actually in an album that I'm working on. Um, so sometimes I use it to color these things. So I'm going to kind of walk you through a little bit how to use the pen and how to use the powders. Now, if you've never used the magical powders, they look Sometimes not exactly like the color that you see on top, so don't be really freaked out by it. But you could probably see all these gorgeous sparkles that's going on in here. So you just kind of dip your pen right in there. You're going to get a little bit on your brush. Now this I'm going to use for the berries. So you just put a little bit of water. And it just goes ahead and activates it. Now, one thing I'll show you is the more water you use the lighter the color is going to end up being. I, it's not exactly a watercolor, but it reacts to water. So I'll bring this a little bit closer once I've called a couple more of them up. So depending on the intensity of the color that you want, depends on how much you squirt out of here. So I don't know if you can see on the water brush when I bring it close. I squeeze it and you can kind of see the water start to come out, which then is going to dilute your color a little bit more. Which again, personal preference. I don't think there's a right or wrong for this. It's just kind of whatever you like. So since I'm trying to do these mistletoe type of effect, and it really dries super quick, but you can already see that glitter that's going on there. So here is a um, slightly diluted one, I'm trying to get a better focus here on that um, for you. If you like that effect. So, you can either keep squeezing the water brush to kind of get some more of that water out. You could dip it into a cup of water, whatever's easier. Then you go on to whatever's the next color you want to work with. I want to work with this. Now, this is definitely a mind-blowing one. This one is called Ponderosa Pine Olive. Of course, you think of a, a very darker green when you see this lid as you can see this powder is so much lighter but don't be scared it will be just fine this actually still comes out pretty dark so one thing that you do if you're using a, a medium like this is that you do have to probably be okay with not having the same consistency across the board in color you're not going to get that um, unless you were to mix it maybe with something else. Trying to get in the camera focus for you guys so you can see 
how easy this is and just how much little powder you actually really need to cover a pretty decent sized surface especially if you're using them to color like I am in this instance. Now you can use these you can use this um, with other things like let's say you're stamping and you want to maybe get this effect on it definitely works well with that as well so hopefully you can see that glitter that's going to come out I'm moving on to the red hot poker orange see that sometimes if I want the color to spread just a little because I do just want the merging you just do that and then finally I'm going to use this cat's tail copper brown for the reindeer in the middle it's a little bit of water and then it's gonna give me the ability to spread this like I said, doesn't take much powder because it activates very well with water. So, ta-da! You can see this. You can do lots of different colors with this. Um, depending on what you're coloring. Like I said, mine, which almost the same colors. I did spice it up just a little bit. Um, came out like this. So when it fully dries, one of the things I find fascinating by this product is it dries so quick. So remember we just did those leaves? Completely dry. So I really do love that. And you don't get 20 million sparkles usually all over your hands. This is a plus for me. So that's some ways that you can use this. You can also use this on paper if you want. And I'll show you one of the other things that I love to do. You can use all one color. Now I didn't happen to go back for a second. I didn't happen to use this Tibetan poppy teal, but you can see in this gorgeous heart just how beautiful and shimmery it comes out. The other thing I like to do is actually create my own type of background. Uh, because once I've created my own type of background, I can then just take it and use it for different things like using my dyes and you can see how gorgeous this actually looks. You can use it as a background in something um, as well. Um, if you're doing mixed media, um, how well it looks. This is just plain old cardstock and it still came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have another one. I use the blue and the green. Use as many colors as you'd like. And it created this gorgeous effect as well. If you want just a quick show on how I did that, I'm just get out a new, actually I'll do it right here because this would actually be a background piece that I'm working on. So just take your paper, you're going to use the same exact powders. I am going to use the blue this time since I didn't use that Tibetan um, poppy teal. I'm going to use that this time. Now as you can probably tell by my fingers, this is not a um, clean project so got to feel a little bit comfortable making mess so 
do it like that. I'm going to take my red on this one. I just usually stick a good old-fashioned toothbrush right in there. If for some reason I accidentally get too much, just kind of spread it around a little bit. And you know what? I think I do want to use a little bit of yellow. I mean, this green that has tints of yellow in it. Make sure before you use any water and spray, you have all your bottles closed. Because, like I said, this is water activated for it to turn. And then you just start spraying it. And you can see how each time you use it, the way the colors go is just so cool. You just don't know what's going to come of it. Uh, which is one of the things that I absolutely love about this. Um, if you want this to dry quickly, you can use a heat gun. Um, I don't have mine available right now, uh, but you can use that just so you can see how the colors would be. The more you spray, I'm going to bring this a little bit closer, the more it spreads out. The less you spray, you end up getting this grainy effect because of the powder just staying in. I think both are really super cool, depending on what kind of project you're working on. Uh, but I just wanted to show you an example of how to do that. Then I fully let it dry. And either I'm going to use it like this, or most likely I'm going to take a die cut and um, dye it out and use it as a background. So when I do, I'll be sure to post a card with that. But just look at the shimmer. It doesn't get more gorgeous than this. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this little preview. I never really used these magical powders before uh, until I recently got this package. It was an excellent sale there at the store. So I figured, hey, I've seen it. Let's give it a shot. See if it's something that I like. And I just love it. So I have a feeling there will be more of these sets from Lindy Gang. You can either buy it directly from them, or like I mentioned, um, I did purchase this set from the Seven Kids uh, Craft Store. All right. hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope to see everyone soon. Take care. Bye.